Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we are going to go over a Palmetto State Army 16 inch mid-length 13 and a half inch rail AR-15 from them. Um, so let's go ahead and dive on in. So what you're going to get with this purchase, you're going to get the rifle, you're going to get a, a Gen 2 Magpul, a 30 round mag if your state permits it, Palmetto sticker, gotta love the stickers, a manual and a gun safe lock. All right. So let's start at the back and let us make our way forward. Okay, so at the at the back here, we are looking at is the uh, Magpul MOE stock. It's not one with the friction lock. This is just the Magpul stock. Um, it's a nice upgrade over the standard um, kind of AR-15 buttstock you get on a lot of, of rifles. It does have a very nice padded piece at the back here. Not that the, the AR-15 has a lot of kick, but it's still nice that it is padded and it is marked with a Magpul logo on the back. Uh, one of the downsides of this particular stock, as you can see, there's no QD mount. You can mount um, at the slings a traditional way, but there is no QD mount on this one, as you can see. Okay, uh, moving forward, the castle nut um, is double staked now. PSA double stakes all of their castle nuts, which is a really nice feature, and I'm glad they're doing that. Um, it's just, just kind of a nice thing to do. All right, um, then we have obviously the end plate. Moving forward, we have a Magpul uh, grip here. This is not the uh, plus grip, so it's not rubberized. It's kind of the plastic with the grippy texture on there. Still very, very nice, and it has a compartment in the bottom if I can get my finger nail in there there we go so it has a compartment in the bottom you can store whatever you whatever you need it's back in place <clears throat> again it's a nice upgrade to have uh, moving forward the lower receiver obviously is a Palmetto State Armory it's a 7075 T6 aluminum and it has a PNT, or excuse me, e EPT, not PNT, EPT trigger, their enhanced polish trigger. Um, again, this is a really nice upgrade. It's not like a Geisley trigger, but from a mil spec perspective, this is a huge step up. Um, and it is a very nice trigger. Feels nice. It's smooth. Has a very positive uh, reset. It's very audible and tactile. So when you're shooting, you can really feel that uh, reset. Um, a very, very nice trigger uh, upgrade. Okay, moving. Let's uh, keep going along actually this way. So in the inside, uh, we do have a PSA um, bolt carrier group. This one is not stamped PSA, but it is um, PSA bolt. It functions just fine, no problems at all. Moving forward, we have a lightweight M-lock rail. Um, now this rail is actually pretty skinny. Um, and if you see clamp, you know, it's really, because I mean, my hands are probably medium sized. I can easily get my hands around and touch, okay? So it's very easy to see clamp this. Um, and it is definitely, um, with this cutout and, and, it, and with the, the cutouts here, it's, it is a lightweight rail uh, for sure. Um, it's a nice rail, obviously, you can attach any M lock, um, any M lock pieces here on the bottom and on the top. Uh, nice rail. This is a mid length. Uh, gas system okay so typically if you're looking at a carbine setup it's going to be about two inches back your carbine gas uh, block would be about here and since this is a mid-length it goes a little further um, and if you speak to people a lot of people are opting for the mid-length over the carbine gas setup um, I guess it's a, just kind of a personal preference but there is a pros and cons to uh, having a mid-length uh, which I don't want to really get into this video because it will take too long um, but yeah so it's a mid-length Moving forward, uh, the barrel is a it is marked actually Freedom here. It's actually NATO. It's a one in seven twist, and it says Freedom. Obviously, you just can't see it um, with a nitride finish. It's a nice barrel. Um, no, no issues with that. Their PSA makes their their barrels in house along with everything else. And you have an A2 uh, bird cage on the front here. Again, you know it's kind of a standard. It works great. Um, you know you have no issues with those. Put it on. Okay, um, on top, it also comes with a set of uh, Magpul uh, backup sights, MBUS sights. So again, you don't have to, you know, a lot of times you'll buy a, one of these and they won't, they won't come with that. So again, it's a nice, um, nice thing to have in there. And MBUS sights, uh, these are Magpul MBUS sights. Uh, they, they work great for what they are. Um, I have them on all of my uh, pistols and rifles and they are great, no problems at all. I haven't had zero issues with them. Okay, so on the other side, um, obviously you come back here, we are stamped here with Palmetto State Armory in um, uh, West Columbia, South Carolina. Obviously you have the bolt catch and release. 
you have the fire and safe and we are back to the buttstock. So let's take a, a little gander inside real fast. We'll pop the pen. So it comes with a box standard uh, charging handle. These are one of the things that I, I have been shooting with this, well, it's, it's dirty. Um, one of the first things I like to do with any AR-15 uh, variant pistol or rifle is I change out the charging handle. I hate these. <laughs> just a personal thing, just hate them. So um, I would upgrade it to, um, you know, I'm running super geysly charging handles. I love them. Radiant weapon systems is great. There's, there's a whole bunch of them. Just, you know, I just really don't like these. Uh, and here's the bolt carrier grip. Um, and you can see the staking looks good. The machining looks good. It's all smooth. Very cool. So let's take a, a little bit closer look at this um, EPT trigger. Um, let's have a look at, let's do the, uh, let's fire. So obviously make sure your weapon is clear. And let's pull this back here. Yeah, very smooth, no grip, very little take up. Oh, let's do that again. Let's do the reset here. Very, very audible and tactile. There's no over travel on there. As I say, it's a nice trigger. All right, let's uh, let's see what it's pulling at. Okay, here we go. Six and a half pounds. Actually, it seems a little heavier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be actually a little closer to five. Um, but again, it's a perfect, you know, it's not like a super light trigger, so it's a good trigger for like, um, you know, battle optics or duty. I mean, you know, if you're on like a duty uh, rifle, um, you don't want the trigger to be uh, too light when that adrenaline starts pumping through you. Six and a half pounds. All right. Okay, so we've shown you everything on the outside. Let's take it to the range and see how it performs. Hey everybody, welcome down to the range part of the video. I'm down at Discount Guns and Ammo. Uh, we're about to run the very first uh, mag through this to see how it does, uh, see how it feels and give us a, a kind of an overall impression. So let's stop talking, let's start shooting. So we're just using some cheap clinking ammo. We're gonna use some Federal uh, 55 grand 223. Uh, all brass. Uh, we're going to use it in a combination of a D&H uh, steel case mag with a Magpul followers. We have a Gen 3 Magpul and a Gen 2 mag also that comes with the uh, rifle. All right, so let's see how it does. Okay, so uh, initial thoughts is the PNT trigger uh, that comes with this is actually really nice. I re I've used the, the PNT triggers before from Palmetto and I've always been impressed. Um, they've got a really nice positive reset on it. So once you fire, this, you know, with the reset, it's you just, you, I'm sure you heard that. It's very, it's audible and it's very tactile. You can, you can definitely feel it. It's a nice smooth trigger. Um, it's a nice upgrade to have in this rifle uh, with their PMT trigger. It's not a world beater, but it's definitely a very from a mil spec trigger for sure. Um, being a mid length gas system, it definitely feels a lot flatter shooting than a uh, carbine rifle. Um, a carbine uh, gas length with the with the uh, gas length being mid length, it definitely feels a little nicer. It's a very light rifle, and it seems to shoot just fine. So I'm gonna do some more shooting and I'll get back to you. Watch my videos and you know, I just like to do a little bit of uh, I'm not gonna film mag dump because we're at the range, we wanna be considerate of others, but I like to see, I put some rounds in, let's see how fast we can fire them and see how it handles it. Yep, 
Handles really well with the uh, PNT trigger with their reset. Um, it made it really nice to, to shoot a little faster with that really positive forceful reset. So that was really nice. Again, it shoots very, very flat. Um, yeah, very cool. All right, more shooting. Okay, so I'm done with the range part of the video. Uh, some final thoughts on this part. Um, it's it's good. Um, I already mentioned this a couple of times. It's a really flat shooter because of the mid-length gas, uh, gas system. The trigger feels great. Um, yeah, no complaints at all. Fed everything. I've shot a couple hundred rounds. I uh, used the DNH mag, DNH mags. And I, I used the Magpul mags. Fed everything. Not a single hiccup. Um, I realize it's only a couple hundred rounds, but so far so good. Very happy with it. Back to the table. All right, so back from the range, uh, everything functioned flawlessly. I went through about 200 rounds of 55 grain ammo from Federal. Um, I used uh, the D&H mags, you've seen that, the steel mags with the Magpul followers, and then I used the Gen 2 and Gen 3 Magpul magazines. Um, wasn't expecting any problems, and I didn't get any. Um, it definitely felt um, a little flatting, a little smooth, smoother shooting than a standard um, 16 inch. And I, again, I believe that's due to the, the mid-length uh, gas block. Um, it's a nice rifle. I think for the money, you get a lot of really nice upgrades. I mean, you know, for your money, you're gonna get, you know, upgrade stock, grip, um, you get the, the sights already that come on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I don't think you'll be disappointed in the slightest with the uh, with the rifle. Uh, you know, PSA, you know, they, they really know what they're doing. They have a lifetime warranty in all of their products also. So um, if anything ever breaks, you know, um, due to normal wear and tear or whatever, they're going to replace it for you. And I've found um, Palmetto State Army to be a, a very stand-up company. If you've seen my videos, I do a lot of reviews on their products because I've, I truly believe they offer um, a lot for your money. You know, they they don't overcharge they build good good uh, firearms for people at a very reasonable price um and so i love them for that and and so um so do i do review a lot of their products because i do feel this is um, one of the best bang for your bucks that you can get by using them all right um i believe that is it um i'll put a link in the description to this particular firearm there is a there's another one that has a slightly um slightly different rail everything else is the same except the rail I'll put that link in also um just as a slight if you want if you don't like this rail gives you a different option um, if you're not following me on twitter please do so at prepper junkie i post deals on uh, firearms optics and um ammo things like that on a daily basis so uh, please follow me there if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button please do so it really does help me out it doesn't cost you a dime and um, if you have any questions or any comments please uh, uh, just leave them below um, and i'm always happy to help out where i can and that is it. All right, folks, until next time, see you later.